In December 2011, Cardinal Bergoglio turned 75. That's the Vatican's mandatory retirement age. So he submitted his resignation and waited for his replacement. And I'm not giving away any secret when I tell you. I asked him, where will you live? And he said, well, I'll go live my retirement at the Flores house where the bishops live. No one could know then that this would be a defining moment in the history of the Catholic Church. A year passed as Bergoglio waited for his chance to retire. But the Vatican chose no replacement, a delay that would make all the difference. For the first time in 600 years, a pope is retiring, Pope Benedict XVI. Stunning news. This is something that, that none of us, Incredible. none of us have heard before. A pope announces he is resigning. This simply isn't done. It's been almost 600 years since a pope resigned. No one saw this coming, certainly in this country. For the radical change that would come, a move unprecedented in the modern papacy. The scene was now set for the radical change that would come. In 2013, all the talk was of Vatican dysfunction. How can we put our house in order? How can we sort out the money? How can we have better governance in the church? Now, cardinals who had favored Bergoglio's election in 2005 got another chance. Was he the reformer the church needed? Did Bergoglio even want the job? And was he strong enough to lead the church?